Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So we are going to be doing a daily plan with me. We are totally going fall and Thanksgiving themed because we are doing this for Wednesday and Thursday, the 23rd and the 24th of, the, of November, almost out of Thanksgiving of November. Um, so for my new viewers, welcome and my returning viewers, welcome back. So glad to have you guys join me today. We are going to be using the Happy Planner Essential Holidays because there is a Thanksgiving page and I think it is adorable. And then we are going to be doing a year of planning using the Whimsy Luck sticker book and using the gratitude page. Um, I might even like try to combine them and we'll see. But uh, I think it's super cute. Um, I've got Mojo Jojo plans in neutral boxes and then I have the check it off and let's go ahead and include the glitter boxes just in case. I figure between those three functional sticker books, I think I will have plenty to choose from. All right, so we are doing the 23rd and the 24th, Wednesday and Thursday. Let me just start hitting everything with my planner. It's like kind of chilly and I'm, it's one of those days where I'm just not ready to um, turn on the heater very high. <laughs> um, so I'm wrapped up in one of my knit shawls and I'm kind of, kind of like this weather really makes me want to knit because I want like all the cozy knit winter stuff. I'm kind of thinking that maybe this could be a spread where I do like the intertwined since I am talking about, um, yeah, since I'm talking about kind of mixing together the whimsy lux and the essential holidays. Um, so let's go to the Thanksgiving page. So we can definitely use this for up here for the quote. I want to, I honestly really just want to keep these, these pages as simple as possible. And we have the gratitude sticker with the whimsy luck. So we'll use that one. All right, one of them, one of them was really easy to peel and the other one's not. There we go. All right, so gratitude is just gonna go straight across there. How about we do a whole bunch of pumpkins going straight across the bottom? We can be able to kind of like mix and match. So some pages, ooh, we can even be able, this is what we're gonna do. I'm trying to line that up as nicely as I possibly can. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, we're going to put this right in the middle. And then we're going to take some of these pumpkins. These definitely do not match, but I am perfectly okay with that. Let's take this one. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Okay, so I am a sucker for things that are like symmetry and matching and similar and all that wonderful jazz, but there's only one white pumpkin. Oh, well, that's okay. We'll use a green pumpkin because it is the same shape. And then using the orange. Oh my goodness, there we go. And let's put a turkey on each page. Gobble, gobble. 
And we need this turkey. I love this holiday sticker book. I am a sucker for seasonal sticker books in general. Also, for the record, I am thoroughly enjoying my time off. Like, to the point that I wish I didn't have to worry about going back to work. <laughs> oh, somebody save me. I don't want to have to go back to work. We're going to put some leaves. All right, we have leaves in both of them. So let's do that one. Let's do this one. The leaves are not going to be like super matchy matchy, but that's okay. I'm going to take a brown one from this one and a brown one from this one. And I'm really, this is one I'm like really grateful for the sticker books that have, um, <laughs> that have the, the boxes. And let's go ahead and take this green one. Well, no, this green one we're going to put right here. And we're going to take this one right here. I'm trying to kind of like use the similar colors. If I'm not using the exact same sticker, we will use similar colors. And I have to get out my tweezers for these stickers. <laughs> I have to. Okay, so we're going to use this one now. And just put it that way. Um, I kind of want to pair it. These little acorns. We're going to do an acorn down here. And we're going to do an acorn on the other side. Okay, this is turning out super cute so far. I am really enjoying it. Um, these cranberries, because I feel like that they just they just fit. And grab these other ones. I'm gonna go ahead and white out reminders just because. Actually, we're going to leave it like that. But now I have to make some decisions about how I'm going to use this functionally. Let's start out with the checklist. So I know that neither of those, either of the books have checklists. I don't necessarily want to use black. However, I was thinking about using some other color. So we have excuse me, this really dark burgundy brick. We have orange. That could work well. I've got the hiccups. <laughs> we have a dark green that could work. And then I know that there's like browns in here that could also work. I think we are going to use, because of fact, because of the fact that we are going to be using probably other color for the boxes. Um, we're going to use the burgundy for the checklist. So there's that. And let's pair it with an orange for one of them and a green for the other. So I think we're going to do yeah, that's like an orange. It's like a brownish orange, I guess. We're going to do orange on this one, green on this one. Um, mainly because of this pumpkin. Like, I feel like I need more orange on this side. So... There's that one, and cutting this one in half, and also I just now noticed, or I really just decided, like I noticed it as I was putting the sticker down, but I feel like that that's up way too high, and oh, okay, we are going to be saying goodbye to this checklist because I kind of got messed up.
<laughs> it got really messed up. Okay, let's move this one down though. There's that one fixed. Okay, let's go ahead and put this green box. And there we go. Let's grab another burgundy checklist. I like the burgundy checklist with the colors. And I might slightly be hoarding <laughs> the black checklist. So clearly I have to use checklists of other colors. And I will be trimming this very soon. Probably when I'm like more done with the spread. <laughs> it can wait. It can wait. All right, so green box is going to go over here. And I think I'm going to pair it with this brown one. And I would like to go ahead and use some smaller boxes as well. Okay, I admit, I really didn't necessarily want to use like a big box on that one. I, I need to figure out what we're doing on Wednesday. Um, so I need to kind of figure out because I we're going to be going over to my parents on Thanksgiving. So I need to figure out like what can be cooked in advance. Um, what needs to wait until Thanksgiving and like we have errands to run on Wednesday um, because I was just too lazy to do them. I was too lazy to do them today, which is actually Tuesday. Um, and yes, I need to update my daily for today. We kind of had a really lazy day. Well, not really necessarily a lazy day, but it was, it was a good day, but it was not as productive as what it could have been, which is not a bad thing. Um, okay, we're gonna do that. So we've got both of those, and I want to put I want to put some more of these little cranberries around. I think these are just so cute. Let's also see if there's any other stickers that we want to include. Oh, the mushrooms! I when I first started looking at this page to kind of determine like what did I want to use. I forgot about the mushrooms. So let's include those. We're gonna include them right behind Mr. Turkey. Um, this one, I'm going to put this candle cause while I do have some errands to run, I do want it to be also a kind of like not not necessarily a lazy day but I want it to be somewhat of a relaxing day um let's I want to put it right over here but I want to cut away some of that box so then that way we're not let's see so that way it's, it's not being seen behind it whoops Oh no. All right, this is when I need wax paper. I've been using a lot of wax paper lately when I, well, you know, actually I'm using parchment paper. There's a huge difference. But anyways, I ran out of, I ran out of one of my rolls of wax paper. So I ended up having to move my craft roll into the kitchen until I can do my next grocery shopping and get more wax paper so I don't have it actually in my craft room so if I'm going to use it I have to make sure that I grab it before I start which I can't guarantee that I'm going to I want to use another little mushroom right there as well all right boxes 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 I decided we're going to use this yellowish I called it orange earlier and now as I'm looking at it closer, I'm like, that is a total mustard color. And 
kind of want to use like multiple boxes. Do my layering. There we go. We are going to put with that, um, we're going to use another of the cranberries. And we're going to pair it also with some of these. Like, I'm kind of thinking using the record player. So this one's going to be like really nice and comforting where it kind of leads into the Thanksgiving with the food. And yeah, <laughs> that's what this one's doing. We're going to do a pie right here because that pie sounds good. Oh, and of course the mashed potatoes. I'm pretty sure mashed potatoes are like one of my favorite Thanksgiving dishes. So cannot forget that. And on that note, I think we are done. Um, the last thing that I'm gonna do is use one of these, or I'm actually gonna use two. So we're gonna cover up the priorities, basically just to bring some color up here. And I'm going to use that same tan color for both of them. That is very crooked and I quite frankly don't care. We'll do this one better. Maybe. All right, I think that note we are done. So now is the time to trim away all of the excess. I'm going to trim it from the bottom and then trim this one and then I will go down. So basically what I do is I just go down where the spine is and just cut. Try to keep it as much in between the papers and Clean off your scissors too. Always clean off your scissors so that way you're not leaving stickers <laughs> stuck to your scissors. Okay, now we also have to punch. So, <coughs> <coughs> we are using the We Are Memory Keepers punch. Lining it up. Punch and punch and then we're going to do the other one where I do the same thing line it up <laughs> Vinny just fell off of the ottoman he was sleeping on <laughs> that poor cat he's going to my bed now <sighs> he's been sleeping all day long Oh my goodness. I wish I could sleep all day long. There's always too much stuff to do though. Okay, perfect. I think those both turned out super cute. So before I put it into my planner, let's do a final look. So we used the Happy Planner, Happy or Essential Holidays. And then we used Whimsy Lux A Year of Planning. Um, this can be found at her website. Whimsy Lux 2. And here's the finished spread. So we did kind of do like leaves going down the side. And then it goes into the turkey and the pumpkins. More pumpkins and a turkey and then leaves going down the side. So it is kind of like a little intertwined together. Um, I love when I do the pages like that because I really do want to do more that are are intertwined and I th I need to clean out I think I, I need to clean out my punch okay there's that although the clear paper like the clear sticker paper is I feel like that's a little bit more difficult to punch than just regular paper so just be aware of that when you're when you're using 
any of the mushroom punches but there we go we are done i hope you guys enjoy this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button i really appreciate all your support thank you guys and have a good day bye thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video